Uh, my name is Beth Shepard. I'm the Chief Financial and Administrative Officer. I work in the business office. Um, I work with a lot of your managers, um, even if I don't get to see each of you every day. So we're going to start with a little quiz, um, and we ask you to participate. You don't have to say the answer out loud. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise our hands for yes, and we're going to keep our hands down for no. Okay? First question. Does Wendell Foster have a retirement plan for its employees? Yes. Currently, our plan is with Max Mutual. You may have heard the word Empower. Uh, Max Mutual was purchased by a company called Empower, and they've been a great partner for Wendell Foster um, for many years. Next question. Can all employees contribute their personal money from their paycheck into their retirement account if they choose? Yes, all employees can contribute to their retirement account. And they can do that with their very first paycheck if they choose. Last question. Does Wendell Foster give you additional money um, into your retirement account? Yes. People don't always pay attention to that part. Um, but Wendell Foster does offer retirement contributions on your behalf into your retirement account. Um, there's a couple of stipulations. Generally, you have to be here for a full year. Most often, you're part-time or you're full-time. Um, but you can earn up to an additional 5% of whatever your income is as an added payment into your retirement account, straight from Wendell Foster. So 2% of that happens automatically. And the other um, amount is considered a match, which is up to 3% if you choose to contribute um, 3% or, or so. That's a great benefit. It's something that we don't uh, talk about enough. Often we hear about it, we know we have it, and then we toss it to the side until our statement comes in the mail. So why are we here today? Two reasons. The first reason is this we consider May open enrollment. Really, at any point, you can just decide to start contributing to your retirement account. Um, but we consider May open enrollment, and we like to use this month as an opportunity to remind you of your benefits and to remind you that you um, have a retirement account. Um, and our IRS makes sure that we do that annually, so that's why we're here. Um, the second reason we're here is that we're excited um, to share with you some of the work that we've been doing on Wendell Foster's retirement plan. A piece of um, our role as financial leaders and with input from our board of directors is to provide education to employees to oversee the performance of our retirement investments and their fees and to provide you with access to the best resources. And those resources might be a strong financial advisor, could be tools to help you calculate if you're ready for retirement, and those type of things. As with any good business, it's important that we monitor um, and make sure that we're with the right carriers at the right time based on our business. When we learned that Mass Mutual was being purchased by Empower, we knew that we didn't want to just blindly transition to Empower. We wanted to analyze all of our options and make sure that that was the right next step for Wendell Foster and for each of our retirement accounts. A group of our leadership team completed a competitive bidding process uh, where we analyzed offerings and fees and services for a lot of local financial advisors um, and also for retirement plan providers. Thanks to growth in our plan size, we now have um, access to even more options and that's why we're here today. We're going to make some changes to our retirement plan and we're excited about those because we're confident that these changes will bring lower cost um, to each of us, which is best for us in the long run. It'll provide um, us with greater access to more advanced technology, um, and it'll offer personalized resources um, for education for each one of us. Ultimately, we believe these changes will make each of us more prepared for retirement. So with that, we're excited to announce um, our new retirement plan partners. Our financial advisors are Corbin Wilson and Ed Prawinkle from Edward Jones. And our retirement provider going forward will be Principal. 
We know that investing and planning for retirement can feel overwhelming, um, but the good news is we don't have to be experts um, in retirement accounts. We have them to help us do that. So with Corbin and Ed's help, they're here today to talk about the transition to principal. They're gonna share some important dates, um, and they're gonna answer all of our questions. And my favorite part is that they're gonna give each of you an opportunity to meet with them one-on-one -on -one and to talk about your individual retirement plan needs. So with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Corbin. Thank you so much. Yeah, so like Beth um, introduced, uh, Ed and I are here to, to serve the plan, to serve Wendell Foster, uh, but also, more importantly, it, it's important to you all, right? And in all of the conversations that we've had with um, the, the committee that, that we did the search with and participated with in exploring all of the different options that we had available, and there's, there's so many, is that we just really wanted to find the one that um, gave every employee of Wendell Foster the, the best opportunity to have a dignified retirement at, at their choosing, right? And that's ultimately what we want for everybody um, because it, you, you all do such wonderful work um, and, and that's what we're here, Ed and I are here to help with. Just a little bit about myself and, and then I'll turn it over to Ed, but my name's Corbin Wilson. I'm from just down the road in, in McLean County and grew up there in McLean County and then you know in, in the Owensboro community now with my wife Tanner and our, our one-year-old son Barrett. Um, it's been very involved with the community our entire lives and it, especially um, the we're especially excited to partner with the Wendell Foster Center because your all's purpose and what y'all do is something that is very near and dear to my heart and my family's heart. Uh, my grandmother and my, my mother were, were special education teachers in the McLean County Public School System. My wife is a speech language pathologist here at Burns Elementary, and a lot of the population that they serve it overlaps with the population that you all serve, and it truly makes you know a, a special kind of person to uh, to do what you all do, and and, and that's something that we're very passionate about it and one of the many reasons that we're very excited to partner with you guys. So we really appreciate the opportunity. Um, I'll let Ed introduce himself and, and then we'll, we'll just go down the agenda and kind of touch on kind of what to expect and, and where we go from here. Great, Corey. Cool. Um, like I said, I'm Ed Crawlwinkle. I was born and raised here in Owensboro. Uh, after college, I did move away for a few years to Nashville, but I've been here for the last 23, 24 years or so. Uh, back at home and uh, my son is 21 and my daughter will be 18 tomorrow so I'll take any sympathy you want to grow in. Uh, so yeah exactly or get her off my payroll that's right and uh, they've, they've been fantastic kids um, so you know I grew up here in Owensboro I'm hearing about Wendell Foster my whole life and I really know a whole lot about it until I started having kids and I do have a couple of friends that have children that, and some who have uh, come through Wendell Foster Services. So I understand the importance of it, and that's why it's uh, dear to my heart. Uh, I've been through the tour of the facilities. I know the history of Wendell Foster is very important to its residents, to the employees, and, and all the donors. And on, uh, Edward Jones is very much the same way. Uh, we're actually celebrating our 100th year. History is very important to us. Uh, in, the, in, in our industry, 100 years is, is very uncommon. So um, it, it's just due to the fact that we're a very conservative company. We, we, do, we just simply uh, do what's right and keep it, uh, keep it simple. So that, that's what we're here for you guys. So uh, we've been making a difference for 100 years. You know, we're helping uh, you all uh, with what's most important to you. That's our goal. Um, Around Owensboro, you may notice there's several offices. Uh, we have about 13 here in Owensboro. And then nationwide, there's over 19,000 financial advisors and 15,000 branch offices. Uh, so we're, we're all over a Fortune 500 company, very strong. This is exactly what we do. Uh, personal service is our utmost importance. Um, that's why we have so many offices. We like to be in your neighborhoods. We like to be where you are. And that's why we have so many here in Owensboro make it easy for you, okay? Um, our investment philosophy is simply, we believe in quality, long-term quality, that's what part of this change is gonna involve. Um, 
some of the investment choices and things. It's going to be high quality, and we hope that you work with us long term on that. Um, principal. So the other company worked with us, Principal. Of course, that's going to explain Principal to you. So, in, in, like I said, in, in all of the different conversations and exploratory conversations that we had in, in determining what company is best uh, for the Wendell Foster Center to partner with, uh, Principal was the one that really stuck out in, in almost every facet. Um, I, I'm going to throw some numbers at you and not to beat you over the, the head, but to prove a point um, and, and highlight why they're, they're such a good fit. But they've also been doing it for over 130 years. And by it, I mean the retirement plan um, industry. Over 130 years, they serve over 5.1 million retirement plan participants, just like you all. And they manage over $200 million just in the retirement plan space. So this is what they do. And at the scale and scope uh, of their business, they have all the resources that are available in the industry, right? So anything technology, service related, we're gonna have access to through the, the partnership with Wendell Foster. And the more that you all have at your disposal, uh, the more flexibility and, and, and resources that you have to, to reach that dignified retirement that we talked about. So uh, we're very, very excited um, to move over to principal and to begin working with them. And, and that's what we wanna talk about next. And, and what's most important is how does this impact you all? and your retirement dollars. So if you all will look at the page that was on your chairs when you walk in, but there is um, a list of dates. And these are just some, some key dates in this whole transition process. The first of which will be May 24th and then also May the 25th. Um, we're gonna have scheduled one-on-one -on -one appointments like, like Beth talked about with Ed and myself here in the Elmer Administration Building for anyone that has any questions. Anyone that wants to you know, have their questions answered in a more personal setting than here in front of all of your peers. Um, and we think that's very important because there's a lot of different pieces to your financial puzzle, right? There's certainly your Wendell Foster plan, but uh, you know, Ed and myself both have children. Uh, there's planning for college. Children are expensive. If, if, you know, if you have them, you know. Um, it, it is planning to incorporate your spouse um, and, and their pensions or, or their retirements. It is all of the other things going on in, in your lives. Um, that's what we're <coughs> here to help with as well, in addition to the, the Wendell Foster plan. So, uh, anyone that wants to sign up and, and take advantage of that, I, I really encourage you to do so. Ed and I would love to help you however we could. There's going to be a sign up sheet in the back corner by Blair uh, where we can sign up for, for whatever time slot works best for you guys. So that is on the 24th and the 25th. Um, if you look down on the bottom left of the page, right under where it says principal, there's a URL. That URL is where you're going to go to set up your new principal retirement plan account. Now, don't, don't panic if, if you go today and, and it doesn't work, it, it's, it's not built yet. It will be built by the 24th. Uh, so uh, don't, don't panic if you can't get to it today. We'll, we'll be able to, they're, they're still building for us. Um, and then on the 24th, that's the next day. And you're gonna see the opt out window will begin. And, and Ed's gonna talk a little bit about what that means uh, specifically for your all's plan. Yeah, so uh, an opt out, we wanna go ahead and talk about that today. So I want you to think about that before, uh, before the day that you can go on to the principal site. And all that means is, is that currently you have money in your retirement account now with it that's now, was with Max Mutual, now with Empower. Those investments are going to, they're going to change, right? When we switch to principal, we're going to have a little bit different lineup of what you're able to invest in. So because of that, we're automatically, uh, unless you opt out, we're automatically going to move you, your, your uh, investments into what we call target date funds. All target date funds means is that there's a date based on your age that you probably will retire. You know, most, most people think 65 around that age because of Medicare and things like that. So what we've done, we're going to partner with American Funds. It's going to be the target date fund, mutual fund company. And we will move you into those target date funds. And that just determines simply how much of your investment is in the stock market versus the bond market versus cash versus uh, the type of investment. 
Typically when you're young and working, you're accumulating money, and that's when you do want to be in the stock market more. It does cause a little bit bigger ride. I call it a roller coaster. You're on a little bit bigger roller coaster. Uh, if that's not comfortable for you, that's where the opt-out, we would like you to opt-out, then we can talk about what maybe where you need to be on that. Uh, but just know that target date funds are excellent, particularly with American funds. And you can see on the graphic behind me, there's 93% uh, of 401ks have target date funds in their lineup. So we're going with that. That's what works, okay? 56% of participants use uh, target date funds. It's simply designed based on your lifespan, your work span, uh, to help you stay invested and stay invested properly. Uh, can we go to the next page? Please? So this little graph is pretty simple, but basically it just says when you're younger, it's higher up in the stock and equity side, okay? The bigger roller coaster. As you accumulate money and work towards retirement, we're gonna move you down more and more towards um, fixed income. And that's just because during your, the time that you're drawing money out, once you retire, that's a more of a proper investment style. So if you're not interested in using the target dates, this is where the opt-out period is important to you. Now it's not to say that if you, if you don't make it, once everything gets up and running, you can still adjust your investments. We're not, we're not saying that you can't ever change it. Just if you want to fix it before the blackout period, okay? So, and talking about the blackout period, that sounds kind of ominous. It's not bad. It's just simply the transition period of like four to explain that. Yeah, so like it's a, it's a blackout period. There's a lot of people, anytime you're doing a retirement plan transition, there are always a lot of questions about the blackout period. What does this mean? How is this going to impact uh, my money, right? Because that, that's what it is, it, it's your all's money. Um, so the blackout period is not nearly as ominous as, as a lot of people think and have assumptions about it. it. It simply means that we can't make any adjustments to your all's accounts at that point in time. And if you think about it, it it's because we are moving a very large plan with a lot of participants from one company to another and if we're making changes as we go, then there, you know, more moving pieces means something's more likely to break, right? So we want everything to, to transition as smoothly as possible. So during that blackout period that's gonna start on June the 10th, we're, you're not gonna be able to make any adjustments to your 403B, which means you can't adjust the percentage of your contributions, you can't adjust uh, what you're invested in. We can't take money in, we can't take money out. It's going to operate the same as it is, right? Any money that you're gonna contribute is still gonna go in there from your paycheck. Uh, everything that is currently happening automatically is gonna continue, we just can't make changes to, to better facilitate that transfer. On the 13th of June, that's when that opt-out period that Ed was discussing is going to end because the very next day is when the transition from empower to principal is gonna begin and we can't be making adjustments as things are already in motion, right? So between the 14th and the 15th, the entire Wendell Foster plan will be moved from empower to principal. That is the only time that the money is out of the market. That's the only time that we're not participating is in that very short window um, of moving it from one company to the other. As soon as principal gets the money, everything is gonna get invested just like you all had elected in that uh, opt-out window, right? If, if you're gonna make any changes, whatever you decide during that time, that's how it's gonna get invested. On the, uh, the, the first full week of July, that blackout period is gonna be lifted. You're gonna have full access to make any adjustments that you want, change contribution rates, um, put more money in, take more money out, uh, change the investment selection, anything that you wanna do. The account's gonna be fully functioning, up and running. That's when it's gonna work just like it is now, right? You're gonna have full access to it then. Um, we just want to make sure that everybody's very aware of what's coming down the pipe, um, just so that no one is caught unaware, right? After that, if you do wanna make any adjustments or, or decisions, um, Ed and I are more than happy to assist in whatever way that we can. Uh, we're also planning to work with Blair and, and Beth on uh, educational events, right? Because you all are not financial professionals. 
Uh, th this isn't what you all do. You all, your job is to take care of people and, and to make their lives better and, and enrich their lives. And, and like Beth said, we're the, the financial professionals that are, are tasked with getting to help you guys with that aspect of your life. So if, if there's anything in particular that you all want to have um, you know, an educational event on, any, any realm or, or facet of finance, certainly reach out. But we want to make it very relevant to you all. Um, and then we do hope that you all take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one meetings and we, we'd love to help however we can. Okay, so a couple of housekeeping things. You will be receiving in the mail a lot of paperwork. Um, it's legal, it tells you which funds are gonna be available, what the fees look like. Don't get overwhelmed by that. Do open it, don't just toss it in the trash. If you have questions, um, I'm here, Blair will be here, Evan Corbin will be available. Um, you have a couple of pieces of paper at your seat. One of them is the date, one has all the dates on it. Take that with you, those dates are important, that's yours to keep. Um, the other one is an acknowledgement form that um, is your record of attendance. So we ask that you sign that so that we know that you're here today and you don't have to do a makeup session. Um, do stop by um, Blair and Molly. They have the sign up for the one on one meeting. Again, those are optional, but we really encourage you to take that time to look at your individual retirement plan um, with Evan Corbin.